Build them a long time. Away, Mauritius, Saudi Arabia, Canada, Saudi Arabia out pretty well. Away, fast France, they're having a good leg. Uh, Greece on the inside, let's see, Kanderas gets it for Greece. That's right of screen, the man that won the 200, he's second from the right. He's running a pretty good leg, but Garner are going strongly in lane one. Here's the change, the Canadians are right up there, they're pretty smooth. France are having a good race, so are Garner. The Greeks are back a bit. The French lead into the straight. One baton change to come. Is it smooth? Not bad. Garner now lead. So Miles Mills is away for Garner from France. And oh, he pulled a hammy or something, Miles Mills. And it's the French that are going to come through from the Greeks. And third, probably Canada and Ireland. And poor Garner. Oh, and poor Miles Mills. He's a thigh, maybe, or hamstring. I don't know what it is, but it's something that's hurting an awful lot. They were blitzing them around that second turn and into the start of the home stretch. But uh, whatever he's pulled, he's hurt. It doesn't look like a hammy. It looks like he's done something. Dial groin, maybe, yeah. yeah. Oh, Australia in lane two with Shervington to go. Now, there's so much noise here that... Uh, like, uh, He came out well, Shervington. Cuba, Trinidad and Tobago out wide with Hungary. Matt Shervington's having a terrific leg in lane two. He's taken the stagger off Puerto Rico. So the first baton change comes up. Pretty good. The Aussies are going well. Tabella in the back straight. He's having a terrific run down low out wide. Cuba, Trinidad and Tobago. Wilson, oh, waited a bit. Gets it now. Has to run a big bend. He is. The Australians are coming through. Cuba in lane eight. The Australians lead into the stretch. Patrick Johnson gets it in front. Cuba out wide with Mayola. Johnson's away. Australia leading. Cuba trying to run us down out wide. I don't think they'll get to us. It's close. It's 38-75. It's nearly a dead heat. But the big story is we're through to the semis. That is sensational for the boys. They've passed the baton well. They've done something right. They're in a great position now. They've moved on through to the semi-finals. Fantastic running. Well done, boys. Almost set. Set. And the third qualifier will be Poland automatically. Oh, for Lauren Hewitt and for Ellie Hutton. And for Sharon Cripps and yeah. Melinda Gainsford. It's a team thing. They will all share the pain. I hope that they don't really point the finger at anyone. They've got to assess what they did wrong and learn by it. Very disappointing, though. I'm sure Marge Jackson's watching this, and... There we go. Oh, Lauren's hand is all over the place. There's no way that Ellie Hutton could get it into the hand. Lauren hasn't held her hand fairly firm and, and steady. There was nothing steady about that hand at all. Well, and then away. Germany got away pretty well, but there is a recall. And out wider, Canada and Colombia. Jamaicans going well here. First baton change coming up. Let's see if the Jamaicans are OK. They're away. They're going very strongly in the back straight. They're a free from the right. The Germans are about to be overhauled, and so are the Canadians. The Brits are back a bit. Now, McDonald gets it for Jamaica. You'd fancy her form, wouldn't you? And here she goes up onto Philip. The uh, German is a good runner as well. But Jamaica clearly in front. Canada and Great Britain and also China battling it out. Fraser gets it for Jamaica. They're taking it for Germany as Wagner. And the, uh, the Chinese are having a good run. But Jamaica clearly in front of Germany. And in third place, China with the Brits for 42-42. 46. They look good, the Jamaicans. Okay. Bahamas away pretty well. Uh, Bawu of Ghana out wide, but Bahamas clearly in front. The last runner will be Fines. In second place, Ukraine, Finland, Ghana are struggling. Bahamas have a terrific lead. Oh, a disaster nearly for Ukraine. But look at Bahamas way out in front of Finland, Ukraine and Ghana. And this is a terrific team. And they're going to be hard to beat for the final. 42-58. Coming home clearly in front. Well, now Alozi gathers speed for the USA. It's gains. Alozi's had a good leg for Nigeria. The first baton change. The Nigerians were clean out wide. The Americans with Edwards inside. Russia having a good run as well in lane number two. So two, six, and eight. The Nigerians back a bit here. US get the baton in front on the bend. So Perry for the US. Mercy a coup for uh, Nigeria. The Russians with Kozlova coming through. But the US to give it now to Passion Richardson. She takes the baton just in front of the Russians with Voronova and out wide is on Yali and also coming through it looks to be Madagascar but the US look pretty good over the Russians and in third place it was Nigeria in 42 90
We're fourth. I'm not sure if we're quick enough to go through to the final. It'll be touch and go. What a great race. What an French to be led out by Ferger, their hurdler, to Urtis, to Diata Aron, who comes home with a rush. They're uh, probably fourth or fifth favourite, to be truthful. There are three teams that really stand out, the Jamaicans, the Americans, and this team from Bahamas. Fine Sturrup, Davis, Ferguson. They've brought Ferguson in tonight for the final. Davis second in the 200. Sturrup and Ferguson both finalists in the 100. They won the world title last year and were second in 1996. And alongside of them, the Americans. They won the last four Olympic 4x100s four for women. Gaines, Edwards, Perry, Jones. Jones has got two golds and a bronze. Tonight she could make it four golds and a bronze and win five medals at the one Olympics. No female has done that. The Nigerians, Gloria Losey, what a story, what strength of character to even be here. Her, her, her partner killed in a car crash in Sydney a week before the Olympics, and Onyani to bring them home. They're like the French, probably the secondary favourites, and the Russians are in lane eight with Ignatova, Trandenkova, Kabarova, and Voronova. Germany and China in one and two. Raylene Boyle, welcome. It's a great night in front of us. And this is a, a fascinating race because the Americans won't have it all their own way. They certainly won't. Fines from the Bahamas ran a brilliant first leg last night, as we recall, in the semi-finals. And, of course, Tanya Lawrence running for Jamaica in lane three will run extremely well. Well, what about that last... Uh, there's Gaines. What about Jones and Otty and Aaron at the end just waiting for it? We look at the Americans in the back straight. That's Edwards and then Perry. And here's Marion Jones. So strong even in the long jump last night in defeat. The anticipation of there's Aaron from France. The anticipation of how it's going to unfold when the batons get to them is, uh, is quite scintillating. Ferguson. There's Otty, very calm as usual. Coming into the relay after some controversy before the games. Her last Olympic race, surely. Started in 1980. They're almost set. Women's four by one. Clean start, like on it. Second Oddy, Jamaica and Marion Jones in third place. Absolutely fantastic. The skill of passing the relay baton. They all ran well. Fine set them up beautifully in the first leg. Changed beautifully to Starp, then to Davis, and then to Ferguson, who held Otty. <laughs> Unbelievable. I thought Oddie would have run over the top of her. Well, I think Oddie actually stayed and waited slightly, right in. I don't think the baton change was great. The Americans made a botch of the third. They really did. They waited forever. Jones had no chance to run them down. And the French have been fourth and not far away. But this team second. Here's Marion. She's got two golds, a silver and a bronze. But this Bahaman team had put it to the Americans in the Olympic final four years ago, and they had beaten the world last year in Seville, and they've done it again. Well, they've certainly beaten the team that absolutely always wins the 4x100 and 4x4 relay. They've beaten the Americans. The Americans are always a sure chance in this. I'm sure those girls, as though they're smiling, although they're smiling, I'm sure they're not particularly happy with how it's unfolded, but they're the Bahaman team. Well, they brought Ferguson in. And they brought Ferguson in, and uh, now what to, a, to me, that's the girl that set it up on the right. Absolutely fantastic. I thought the Americans were slow to move, to be truthful. And the Nigerians were shocking off the mark. Look how far back they are here. The Nigerians have really blown it in the first leg, but the Bahaman team has really blasted away and run extremely well. The Jamaicans on the inside have got everybody to watch. They've passed well on the first baton change. The United States team is uh, running very well, but the Bahamas team has passed well in front of them. Blitzed them, and so is Jamaica. And they really wasted some time over that change, the Americans. That's where, That's they, where they blew it. Yep, they did on that third. It's the first gold medal in Olympic history for Bahamas. Their previous best result was second with this team in 1996. Now, Oddie just waited, Raylene, at the end. Gets it now, and Jones out of it with Aaron. But uh, it's Ferguson away. Otty straining to win an Olympic gold medal in her last games. Can't do it. Jones for third. Bahamas first, their first ever. Second Jamaica. Everything they've been in in the four by one. But they want this one badly. You would think the way they would lose would be a mistake. Absolutely. Jonathan Drummond's the only member of the team from Atlanta still running in this relay squad doing the same leg two at the... It's not too far outside the world record. US first, Brazil second, and Cuba, I think, in third place. Well, that is certainly a lot closer to the world record than I thought they'd go. 
Morris Green was right. He gave the crowd an American flag so that he collect, could collect it after. 38, the uh, Brazilians are inside 38 for the first time. And the Cubans, they were great too. They've run 38.04. I think the Cubans would be disappointed with losing that silver medal though. They seem very G'd up at the start, but the Americans, what can you say? They're masters of the relays. Thought their vetting changes were really good, Raylene. They didn't make a mistake, did they? Obviously, this is the main team that they've worked out with. The other members have stepped in to save some of the guys, but 